What's up guys and thank you so much for watching my videos, okay? Make sure you subscribe if you're not a subscriber. So there are a lot of politicians today that are using the Bible, scripture, God, prayer, name it. Anything that relates to Christianity, anything that, re that is spiritual, they're using that to manipulate people, to get the votes, to get money, just like many prophets are doing because of that cash, okay? They're doing to just get one, one thing to get that cash or to get their votes. So we're gonna listen to Rachel um, Ham right now. Rachel Ham running as the candidate for the Secretary of State in the Republican Party or as a Republican. And let's watch what she's saying. First of all, vote for Rachel Ham. Second thing is, let's pray. Let's pray for several things. Let's. So you heard it first. You vote for Rachel Ham. Okay, she starts on that platform, and now she goes into something spiritual. Pray that if they steal votes of machines, the votes are flipped back. Let's pray that if they create fraudulent ballots, they're incinerated. Let's ask the angels to go burn them up. No fake ballot. Okay, so the angels is going to go and burn up all fake ba ballots. And then if the machine manipulates the, the votes uh, automatic because we've prayed, because they have prayed, because you have prayed, then it will flip back up. If people who are not American citizens try to vote, let's pray it doesn't work. America, if you're not a citizen, you cannot vote. Okay, that's clear and simple. You're not gonna, yeah, at least in my in, in my state, you cannot. You need a voter's registration card and you have to prove citizenship. You cannot, uh, you cannot be allowed to vote. You can't have a ballot because your name is not on the voter roll. So, but they all, always these people talk about that, oh, their people are voted or uh, non-citizens are voted or there's fraud, there's that. It's whole, it's, it's, the entire thing is fraud, okay? And their message is to scare you instead of just genuinely appealing to people, appealing people, hey, go knock on the doors for me, hey, vote for me. Things like they go, they use fear and they use Christianity, they use the Bible to manipulate you, okay? But that vote disappears. Any attempt, any of the 1,000 ways that they are attempting to cheat, let's pray that it... Who is they? Who is attempting to, to, to cheat in the 1,000 ways? Who are those? Who are we going to pray against? doesn't work, that, that their schemes to cheat and to steal fall back on their own head and that they are unsuccessful. Would you agree with me in prayer for that? I know it's a weird thing to pray. These are Absolutely not. I would not pray with you. I would not agree because that is, you, 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 you are deceived. Okay. And you're using prayer in not even the right context to say, oh, I know I'll be attacked. Some of you are saying, oh, nothing is difficult with God. God can do it. I've heard of that and stuff. It's the same as you climb up the roof of my house and God has not told you. And then you ask people to pray that I'm going to jump and I'm not going to get hurt or die. Okay. That is almost like testing God. That's, 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 you haven't heard from God. God has not told you that. Okay. So it is ridiculous what she's saying, manipulating people instead of standing in there and just follow the law, okay? Campaign, recruit people, okay? Present your agenda. What are you standing for, okay? The people that will support, I think that's why you need to go. Sometimes we're in war and it's a weird war. But one of the ways I think we're gonna win this war is through praying prayers like this. So join me in praying for that and also vote in person for Rachel Young. So you hear 
uh, we are having right now in Pennsylvania with Dr. Oz. There are ballots that are mailed in, a lot of them. Um, and it was endorsed by Trump. And a lot of those mail-in ballots, according to when they are coming in, it's not for Dr. Oz because Trump and Rachel does not believe in mail-in ballots. But so when that comes in, you are telling people to vote in person, which is good, but not everybody is going to do that, you know. And then when those mail-in ballots, your opponent encourages people to do it, they are legally counted, legally cast, uh, ballots that are legally cast in, and you scream fraud, okay? So tell me what you guys think, but this is dangerous stuff. A lot of prophets have gone crazy. A lot of Christians have gone crazy, too political, and using the Bible to manipulate people. Leave me a comment. Let's have a discussion. Thanks for your for watching. I'll see you in the next video.